Hello everybody, it's Claire here and I'm going to take you through a Pilates session this morning. It's for most people, so enjoy, have fun with me. Where are we today? We are at, in the Whitstone days. It's a place I've not been to yet in Australia, so that's on my list to go along to. Um, as I always say for exercise, if there is anything going on with your body, please take care, make sure you've got clearance from your medical advisor and just have fun with it, really. You'll need a couple of lightweights this morning or a couple of cans if you've got them, but if you haven't, it really isn't a problem at all. So, Kane's going to scratch the sounds for me, and we're going to start just with a nice stand-in preparation to get you centred and to get you into your Pilates feel. So, legs just sinking down, legs nice and wide. Roll the shoulders. So, we're going to breathe in. The hands are going to float up, and then you're going to exhale and bring the hands down. The hands are coming up as you breathe in. So it's just a little flow sequence just to steady yourself, feel anchored into the ground. And breathe deeply. And breathing out. The sequence goes like this, breathing in. Sink it down. Breathing in. And sinking down. Let's begin, breathe in. Now sink down, let the hands soften. Press the right wrist across, and then the hands are gonna settle down. Hands lift, and then you sink down again, just let your eye focus go on your hands. Bring the hands up, and then back through center. That's it, we're breathing in. Morning, Jeanette, so I can just about see some of those. <laughs> Press the hands to the left. Just as I looked at the screen, a load of emojis have appeared. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and coming back down through center. Well, inhale. Now let your body sink a little bit lower into your legs every single time. And then press the hands to the right this time and shift weight and settle in. Breathe and lift. Sink down. Breathe and lift. Come back through centre. Nice job. Can we go a little bit deeper into the legs each time? That's it. And soften. Press through. And then take it on down. Breathe and rise. And then settle in. Breathe and rise. And then come back through centre. Slight change this time. Breathe in. Bring the arms up. Shift way over to the right and sweep the arms down. Come through centre, breathing in. And then taking it over. That's it, coming in. So nice and deep in the centre. And then shift your weight. Coming back through. We're going to go four more of these. Breathing in. Now just shifting just a little bit further each time. And as the hand goes down to the left, all the fingers find the thumb on that side and the other hand is flat. Taking it across. One more. We're coming back to the main sequence. Hands come up through centre, breathing in and then breathing out, soften. Press the hands to the right, press through with the wrist and then sink down. Breathe, lengthen up and then sink in. Now this time a slight change. Roll the arms back round and bring them down. Come in with centre. Now come on, sink down. Find some warmth into your legs. Press it across to the left and then the arms come down. Hands rise. Hands settle, soften. Circle it all the way through. We've got two more to go. We breathe should be feeling a little bit more centered, ready to go into some balance before we hit the floor. Hands lift you. If you are just joining us, we will be using a couple of small hand weights. Circle the arms around and coming through center. Breathing in, sink through. Press in for cross, hands come down. Magnificent, lift the hands up and then sink and then roll it through. Breathe in and rise, take it over. Other side, lift it up and over you go. Six more of these, 
So every time you come back through center, you're nice and deep into your legs. Feel expansion as you open the arms. Allow your breath to flow the movements. One more, either side. Last one. Excellent work. Rolling the shoulders, bring your feet closer together. Stand nice and tall, spread your toes. We're coming into some balance now. So stand in with your feet together. Ankles draw in, knees draw in. Roll the shoulders back, reach the arms out wide. Bring your hands together and come up onto your toes. So a little rise up onto the toes and then bend your knees and hold. Nice steady eye gaze. And then the arms are going to reach up. And as the arms reach up, lift your heels a little bit higher if you can. Pull in through your abdominals. That's it, circle the arms around. Stay up on the toes, so you're up on your toes, and sink a little bit deeper if you can. Bring the arms back up and round. Bring your hands down through the center. And then take your heels down, take the arms out wide. Stand in on your left leg, bring your right leg up, and hold your balance there. That's it, well done. And then bring one arm across, and then take it out. We've got four more here, bring the arm in, and then taking the arm out. So stand on one leg, remember if you need to, steady yourself with a chair or with a wall. Two more, and then let's see if you can do some calf raises. I'd like to give you a little bit of strength in the calves as well. Okay, just play with it. See if you can rise up onto the toes on one foot. Ooh. That's it, keep reaching out through your fingertips. Make sure your hip bones are nice and level. That's great, well done. See if you do a couple more. This is my good side. <laughs> and then bring the feet together. Shake out the legs. Bring your hands back into your heart center. Rise up onto your toes. Bend your knees, sink down. Lift your heels a bit higher. Squeeze your ankles and knees together. That's it, now reach the arms up. Bring them down through the center. Brilliant, now bring them all the way up and sweep the arms all the way around. And then bring your heels down, we stand on the right leg this time, lift the left leg up. Arms out to the side, find your balance. And then it's the right arm comes in and right arm goes out. So find your balance, remember toe can touch down if you need to. But I want you to pull up through your abdominals and grow into the space above your head every single time. That's it, now let's play. Can you rise up on this one? Ooh. <laughs> Not promising that I can do this side, but we can see. Ah. So just go with it. Sometimes you have to try these things. Couple more to go. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, well done. Shake out your legs. We've got two more challenges before we go down to the floor. So the arms are going to reach out wide and then up to the sky. Leg is lifted to the front. We're going to sweep it all the way back into an aeroplane pose. And then the knee's gonna come up, the arms come up. Find your balance here. And then we sweep the leg all the way back. Kick it back. Bend your standing knee. Let's go again. So reaching up, big stretch. That's it. Morning, Pam. Morning, Maureen. Take it back. Let's go for two more here. Reaching up. And then sweep it back. Did I say two more? I meant one more. Okay, change sides. Shake it out, lift the other leg up. Arms come up to the sky again. So find your balance first. Leg is reaching forward, arms reaching up. That's it, good. And now we're going to sweep it back. Sweep it back. Steady yourself, bend your standing knee. And then bring the leg back up, find height. Remember, grow into the space above your head every single time. Sweep it back. That's it. And the quicker you sweep the leg back, the more of a challenge you're going to give your balance. So let's see how you can go. Take it back. All the way up. And one more. Woo. And then bringing the legs in, shake them out. Well done, everybody. We're coming down onto the mat now. So you will need your hand weights if you've got any, but as I said earlier, if you don't have hand weights, 
really not a problem at all. So come in on down. You might also want to just have a folded towel or cushion for your head as you lay down. So coming on down, take one weight either side of your body, roll it down, and if you want to use a little cushion for your head, please be my guest. Just put your head in a really good position, especially if you've got a slightly forward head posture. So it just helps sort the head and shoulders out, so we've got in good alignment for our Pilates work. Pelvis nice and level. And I want you to start from your feet. So think about your feet being hip socket distance apart. Base of big toe, base of little toe, and heel on the ground. Your legs are parallel. Feel as if your thigh bones are sinking back into your hip socket. So it's really good to get yourself set up. Your hip bones and your pubis bone level. Now in this position, your lower back may or may not be touching the floor. Depends on the shape of your spine. Ribs are down. Hands are just gonna rest bound by your side. Now get nice and comfortable through your shoulders. Breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth. From here, float one leg up to tabletop and then drawing in through your lower abdominals, we're thinking pelvic floor. Lift the other leg up if you can. Make sure as that both legs are lifted, lower back is now touching down. If this is too much, just keep one foot on the floor. Okay, so everybody's gonna be a bit different. So we're up with some toe taps. So we're gonna breathe out to take the leg down and then bring the leg all the way back up. So you're moving from the thigh and the knee stays at one angle as it goes down. So breathe out as the leg goes down. And the leg only goes as far as you can maintain the lower back in contact with the floor. And try to breathe out as it goes down and in as it goes up. But if all else fails, please just breathe. So you're not holding your breath. We're gonna go for four more. Relax through your shoulders. So there's no tension through the rest of your body and the legs are almost floating through space. Two more to go. And make this one the last one. Brilliant job. Take your hands out a little bit wider. Now if you can, take one leg out to the side and then bring it back up to the top. This one can be done with the feet on the floor as well. So if you need the extra stability, or you feel like your back's popping off the floor, keep the feet on the ground and just allow the knees to drop out to the side. So we've just got a few more here. And what we're looking to do is keep the pelvis nice and level, nice and flat. So you're working kind of like the rotational forces through the body, your anti-rotators as I like to call them. You've got one more. Brilliant work. So bring in your legs down, one foot then the other. Take your hand weights, bring them up. I go quite light because it's more about opening through your body, not about a big muscular workout. So shoulders relaxed into the floor. As you breathe out, the arms are gonna open as wide as possible. The ribs stay down. You inhale and bring the arms up, nice and steady. Let's go again. So opening out as you breathe out and then breathing in to bring the arms up. And the rest of the body should stay pretty still. So your ribs stay down, the lower back stays put. Your pelvis stays nice and level. And still think about your feet, are they evenly weighted? Sometimes we start to jam the heels into the floor. We're going to do four more like this. You belong to... I'm not allowed to sing, am I, Kane? I can sing, he said I can sing good. <laughs> Loosely called singing, by the way, out there in Facebook land. <laughs> you got one more? Okay, bringing the hands back up. Now, keeping the weights in your hands, bring your hands down by your side, palms towards the ceiling. We're gonna add in a little chest lift. So you're gonna breathe out, lift the head and shoulders from the floor, and we're gonna roll down. As you lift your head and shoulders up, reach your hands towards your ankles. So you're reaching through, we're lifting through, and then we're coming on down. I have to say, it is really nice working out on the beach. Just need the warmth of the Whit Sundays. That would be really cool as well. Lifting up. And down. Let's do two more of these. And one more to go. Breathe out. Now bring it on down. Bring your hands up towards the ceiling again. Float your legs up one at a time. 
Make sure your lower back touches down. That's important when you've got both legs lifted from the floor. So now we're going to extend one leg and one arm away and the other arm is going to go down by your sides. And then you bring it back up. Now the option here is to keep your feet on the floor and just use the arms. It's a really nice way to open through the front of the body and focus on the control, th control through your core. So breathe it out and breathe it in. And the arm goes as far to the ground by your ear as you can keep your ribs down. So just make sure that you're keeping the ribs down. And you do that by controlling from your abdominal muscles. Let's do three more. Bring it on back. That's it. I keep seeing emojis. Every time I look at the screen, there's just big emojis. And then bring it on through. Shoulders relax. Take your feet down. Take the hands down by your sides. And then walk your fingers out wide. Bring your legs together. Just taking the legs side to side. Releasing through your back a little bit. One side, then the other side. That's it, good. If you want to work the abdominals a bit more on this position, bring your legs back up off the floor and make sure you're working from the waist. So this exercise is about working from your waist. Your pelvis goes over and that's why the legs move. Breathing in as it goes over. Breathing out as it comes back to center. Breathing in as it goes over. Breathing out, bring it back to center. Let's do one more. Magnificent, well done. Bringing the legs back through, feet come down, roll over onto your side. So it's up to you if you put your head on a cushion or a towel, or you have your hand underneath your head. What I'd like you to do is bend your knees, bring the legs forwards, and just check in with your alignment, your ears, your shoulders and your hips should be in a straight line. Knees are reaching forwards, top hand rests on the floor, head rests down on the arm or on a cushion. Now, you may want to keep your knees in this position, your feet in this position, or you can lift the feet from the floor. Nice, easy clam exercise, opening and closing through the top knee. The key here is to keep your pelvis nice and level, so keep the pelvis still, so you've still awareness around your tummy muscles, and focus on the alignment throughout. You should feel as if your waist is gently lifted from the floor. That's it, two more here, then we're gonna do some small ones at the top. And we're gonna hold it up here. We're gonna do some small ones up here and press, and press, and press, and press. That's it. So just pressing back with the top leg. We've got eight more here. You may need to put your hand on your hips just to make sure they're not rolling backwards. Four more, four. So you should be feeling the exercise in this area. Now bring your knees down, keep your feet lifted if you can, round two. Opening and closing. Keep your feet joined, whether they're on the floor or lifted. And think about keeping any tension out of your shoulders. So keep the upper body as relaxed as possible as we isolate the movement in the hip. That's it, now hold the leg up there and do some small ones at the top, just like this. So it really just turns the screw a little bit tighter into the glute area. You can feel mine working, I'm sure you can as well. And with the legs like this, you get a little bit more stabilization through the underneath hip as well. That's it, you've got four, and three, and two, and one, hold. And then bring the legs down, keep the knees bent. Wrap the other hand around your head. We'll do some mobilization through the upper body now. Book openings, I call this. So we're gonna inhale to open, stretch through, and then bring it all the way back round. We go again, breathing in to open, and then come all the way back round. Now what we're looking for here, your hips and your knees reaching towards me, and the bottom elbow is pressing on the floor just to give you a sense of oppositional energy. So you've got two more, breathing in, take your head with you. And one more to go, open it out. And then bring it back through, fantastic. Sit yourselves up, swing your legs around, let's do the other side. So, onto your side, if you've got a cushion, obviously bring it with you if you're using it. Bring your hand underneath your head if you've not got a cushion. Knees reaching forwards. Hips, shoulders, ears, make sure you're in alignment. Pull the tummy muscles in, lift from the waistline, and lift your heels if you want that option. 
open and close. So working into this glute area as before and really focusing on isolating the movement of the hip. So we're drawing in through the tummy muscles and we are breathing. So remember, just breathe normally so there's no holding of breath. We're drawing it open and close. Four more like this and we're going to go for the pulses just to make that just a little bit stronger for you. That's the way. Hold it up. Here we go. Small one to the top and lift it up. And up. Keep the feet together and keep pressing through. Quick double check on your posture. Alignment is key in all exercise, not just Pilates, but more so in Pilates maybe. Got to do, got to do with it. That's it. Brilliant. Bring the leg down. Round two. Lift it up. And closing. So you should start to feel something happening around this area as you open and close the knee. The bottom hip is working as well. Remember that's pressing this knee into the floor. So it's like a double whammy. Two more here. Brilliant. Well done. Hold it up. Here we go. A little pulse at the top. And lift and lift. Lift and lift. So keeping those feet super glued together as you do those small lifts on the top leg and focus on the lift through the belly. That's brilliant. And a little pause at the top. Hold it there. Keep it steady. Yeah. Then bring it on down. Wrap your hands around your head. And we're going to come into our book opening. So it's a big open through the chest, breathing in and then breathing out to bring it back round. So we're opening out and out. Open it. So feel the expansion through your chest and mobilizing through your thoracic spine, which is always nice. Check that your knees are reaching towards me and you're keeping the legs on the floor. Allow the breath to help the opening through the chest. Good, nicely done. Okay, so from here, everybody roll over onto your tummy. Let's work through the back. So working this is some back extension. So lay on your tummy, wriggle your hips round them down the mat, push your pubis bone into the floor, legs reaching away, bring your arms, I like to call this goal post position, so your elbows are bent at 90, tip of the nose towards the floor, tummy muscles gently lifted to find the pelvic floor connection. We're going to lift the head and the chest, and then we're coming on down. So we start with a very small upper back extension, keeping the pubis bone into the ground. So it's going to probably feel like a fairly small movement, depending on how much movement you have through your upper back. Okay, if you want to come up a little bit higher, draw the elbows in a little bit more and start to press up a little bit higher. And you think about sequencing through the lift in the spine. And it's important to keep the bottom muscles engaged and also the tummy muscles pulling in, lifting up. Let's do two more here. And then bring it on down, one more to go. So you use the upper back and then you use the hands once you get to that point where you need them, okay? Now bring your hands under your shoulders and press back into child's pose and walk your fingers as far forward as you possibly can. We're going to work through the spine, so we're going to come through a cat stretch and then we're going to press the hips forwards, lift up through the chest, squeeze through the bottom and then you're going to pull back, round the spine back. Now, you can't take extension, just bring it through to a cat stretch, so you may want to stop here. So if your back doesn't like extension, stop with the flex position of the cat, but if you can extend the spine, press through, squeeze your bottom Lift up through your heart, open your chest, then pull in around your spine and move back. We've got two more. It's like a wave of energy traveling up your spine as you push it forward and open your chest. Now pull your tummy muscles in to round your spine up, reaching back. That's it. Let's do one more. Tucking under, rolling forwards, lifting up through your heart. I focus, look straight ahead, then pull back. And then from here, 
Bring yourself up to standing. So we're going to come finish with some standing glute work. Now, if you want to use weights, please bring weights up with you. You can use them in your hands. So we've got some standing glute work and then one more balance sequence, which you know we all love a little bit of balance in the morning. So I'm going to go sideways on to your right leg, up the toe here, bend your left knee. The right leg is just going to tap back, back and in. Tap back and in. Now, if you want to swing the arms, you can swing the arms. Those of you that do reformal work, this is very similar to my favorite exercise, the scooter, pushing it back. If you've got hard floor, you might want to slide the foot out on him. Now, if you want a little bit of more, you can always double the speed, okay? So you've got several options going on there. So you can go double time, or you can stay slow time. Got about eight more counts. So what you should be feeling, keep it going, is the work in here as the leg stabilizes and the hip stabilizing. That's where you're feeling this one. Okay. Now just going to bring the right leg up, standing tall. A little bit more balance. Hands come up in front. Uh-huh. Eyes focus straight ahead. Now you're going to keep your arms lifted and we're bending through one leg and standing tall. So we're bending through one leg, standing tall. So it's not a deep knee bend. So you're just here. Tummy muscles drawing in, dropping down, and lifting on up. If you find this gives you any discomfort in your neck or upper back, then just bring the arms down a little bit then. But otherwise, see if you can keep the arms up because you need to connect through your tummy muscles to keep the body lifted. Shake it down, shake out the legs. Well done, everybody. Fire in the glutes. They, they are on fire a little bit. Sinking down. You got the weight on your right leg this time, or the other leg if you had the weight on the left leg last time. Just start with that tap. So remember, we can work through different speeds, different tempos. Everybody's different, has got different needs. You can swing the arms through, if you like a little bit with the arms as well. You could actually slide the foot back and in. And if you want to go up to speed, be my guest if you like a little bit of speed in the morning. Absolutely no problem. But what I want you to really focus on with this exercise, keeping this knee bent, slight tilt forward, zipping up through the abdominals and keeping the body still as the leg moves. So if you're kind of moving like this, you're going too much for you. You need to pull it back in a bit. So it's all about the control through the center of the body. So you should be feeling something by now in that standing leg, hopefully, maybe. <sighs> Fabulous, well done from here. Bring yourself up nice and tall, sweep the arms forwards. So we're gonna take a single knee bend and reach the arms out and bend and reach. So keeping your elbows lifted in front and it's a tiny knee bend. So a little bit more balance work, a bit more stability work. And if you do find you wobble a lot, remember you've got the option, big toe goes down. Or you can just take one hand down onto a chair or onto a wall if you've got one close by. That's it, good. And last one. Brilliant, take the weights down to the floor. Shake out your legs. Take the legs nice and wide. Turn the toes out slightly. That's it, we're gonna take a deep breath in, lifting up. Exhale, arms come down. Got one more balance sequence. I've got a bit of a thing about balance this morning. It's all good though, reach out wide. Stand in tall, take the weight onto your left leg, lift the right leg out to the side, take a lean. That's it. But balance is so important for everybody. Such an important skill. Such an angel. Okay, hold it. Now, keep in this position and see if you can balance and sing along. Or try closing your eyes. We'll be doing some of that in the next few weeks. So there's a little pulse there. Lift, lift. I love this song. Keep reaching wide. Whoa. Okay, well done. Bring the legs down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Reach out. Stretch wide, lean over, ready, that's it, hold it there. So find your balance first, stretch nice and wide through your collarbones, reaching as long as you possibly can, 
I don't belong here. Okay, ready? Let's do those small pulses again. So you're reaching out nice and long with the arms. You're leaning over. And if you do need to steady yourself, just gently place a hand on a chair or onto a wall. Ideally not anyone in the room because you might both fall. And lift, and lift, and lift. Let's go for eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Absolutely brilliant. Take it on down. Take a deep breath in, reaching up nice and high. Exhale. Now bring your right arm up only. And take a side stretch over. Bring it back through center. Other arm lifts up. Over you go. Back through the center. Both arms come on up. Bring it down wide. Bring your feet close together. Roll your shoulders back here. That's it, good. Let's rise up onto the toes, finishing as we began, right up onto your toes. Nice and nice and tall, stretch it through. Brilliant. Now let's see, how far can we go down? Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Final challenge of the day, reach your hands forward, hold. Squeeze your legs together. And now rise, keep your heels lifted, rise on up. Ooh. Hands come down, keep your feet together, heels come down, reach in the arms up to the sky. Take hold of one wrist, take a side bend over. Come through the center. Over it comes. Who sang this song originally? I wonder. That could be a little quiz for you guys out there, hey? Who sang this song originally? Roll the shoulders. I'm so very special. Arms come out wide. Wriggle your fingers around. Give yourself a great big hug this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day and I am back tomorrow morning with Bar.